So, here's why you're wrong about Thor Ragnarok and the one holding the phone is Liz. Hi, Liz. Hey. This is going to go directly to YouTube just to, for posterity purposes, I couldn't put it on the show yet. It was a pretty big cannon fire. Be sure to listen in on Mixcloud. Anyway, and 24-7 Miami.tv <laughs> backslash radio. So, Liz, here's why you're wrong about Thor Ragnarok. All right. Thor Ragnarok is about the Old Testament. Oh, my God. Let me explain. All There's right. spoilers here, folks, just letting you know. The film begins how? Thor is imprisoned in darkness. Mm -hmm. He then sees the light, Surtur. He defeats Surtur, goes through the darkness into light. Let there be light. That's first. Okay. Second, we have a literal fucking arc saving people at the end of the film. Where Asgard gets destroyed. The Hulk is fighting Fenrir in the water, mimicking the flood. There's a flood of fire and lava and everything. Hela's literally Satan defeating another version of Satan. Oh <coughs> it's really like... The comedy was a smokescreen, folks. Comedy was a smokescreen. Oh, it's all about the Old Testament. Oh my god. There's a literal fucking arc. Noah's arc. And what happens? They meet Thanos, who has a bigger fucking arc. <laughs> also, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is about Jesus Christ. <laughs> you don't... You didn't... You haven't seen the movie, but you people have. You out there. Peter Quill is the son of God. Ego. God. And God is a very angry, vengeful God, both ego and the events of Thor Ragnarok. Just the situation <laughs> alone is just a very angry, vengeful God. Hela was angry and vengeful. Surtur, it's his destiny to wreak a wrong ha Ragnarok. It's destiny ordained type of vengeance. However, ego is tempting his son, Jesus, Peter Quill to kind of join him or whatever, to become part of him so they could take over the universe and make it himself. However, Jesus forgoes that, Peter Quill forgets all that, and sacrifices himself for all of us, also because, you know, Ego killed his mom. But whatever, still, the fucking comparison fits, it's all about Jesus Christ. And he sacrifices his godhood and is reborn a man. Because he loses his connection to Ego, because Ego dies in the end of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Spoilers. Uh, should have said that before. <laughs> but see, Liz? So that means I have to re-watch Spider-Man Homecoming to find out where that is. Maybe it's part of the Talmud. Maybe it's part of the Quran. I don't know. But we have Old and New Testament bookending this year of, of the MCU. So, I mean, the New Testament, Old Testament. Did I convince you that Thor Ragnarok is better than you thought it was? Oh my god, no, you did not. <laughs> you could go fuck yourself then. <laughs>